A reading from a column by Danella Meadows. A letter, anguish, and a rubber band. 1989. When I feel overwhelmed by the agony of being a caring person on this beleaguered planet, I like to remember a demonstration I once saw at a workshop. Imagine for a minute that you're holding on to the ends of a thick rubber band, one end in each hand. Now, picture pulling, one hand up, one down, so the band is stretched tight. Pull hard. Hold that tension there for a minute and let your lower hand represent reality, the state of the world right now, the whole human and planetary condition. Not good in many ways for many people, not good for the other creatures of Earth. Your upper hand represents utopia, the way the world would be if everything worked right, if all creatures and the earth as a whole were healthy and cared for. If your imaginary rubber band is thick enough and your hands far apart enough, the tension is probably getting to you by now. What you most want to do is to let go. So let go with your upper hand. Snap, ouch. Forget about utopia dreams and visions. You're a realist, a fashionable cynic. The rubber band flops around, directionless in your lower hand. You're well-grounded, fully aware of the trouble and toil of today. But you have no clear direction to go and no hope of getting anywhere. If you let go with your lower hand instead, the rubber band will flop again, hanging from above. Totally out of touch with the facts. You're a flake. You live in fantasy, in the happy supposition that everything is all right, or will soon be so, and that you need apply no effective power to change anything. You're a Pollyanna unconvincing to others because in truth you haven't convinced yourself you know you've let go of reality in either of those tensionless states you are quite comfortable and quite powerless the only alternative is to bear the tension hold on tight firmly in touch with reality unshakably committed to your highest dreams Feel the pain. Summon your strength over and over to endure it. Stop to rest if you have to, but pick up both ends again. Only out of an acceptance of the world's terrible pain and its wonderful possibilities can you anchor your upper hand to vision while you discover ways to bring your lower hand, the reality closest to you, up toward that vision. Slowly, slowly, your anguish, sometimes so unbearable, is in fact the force through which you can help the world come a little closer to being all that it can be.